Hey yo, so today I'm gonna to show you how you can get this really cool transition. I'm not gonna to spend too much time on this today, so let's just jump right into it. First things first is you're gonna to wanna to go to my website and get my paper assets pack. I'll leave a link to that. Then you're gonna to wanna to decide a spot where you wanna do this effect. So I think I'm actually gonna do it right here. And as you see, I already went through and chopped up these clips. Now if we play it, it's still smooth motion, but I just did that because it will help you stay organized. So you're pretty much just gonna to wanna to start at the first clip that you're using go two frames over and then hit control K, I'm on Windows. And uh, yeah, from there on, you're just going to go over here and you're gonna select a folder that you wanna save to and then you're gonna wanna name it one. And you're just gonna keep on doing that with each individual clip uh, until you get as many as you want. I recommend doing 12 for this, but you can definitely do whatever. Just know that the more you do, the longer the process is gonna be. But from there, you'll hit okay, and you're just gonna repeat that process until you get your individual screen grabs. All right, so now we're in Photoshop, and I just dragged all these in there. And I'm just gonna spam the check mark real quick. Now, just double check, sometimes when it uploads, it won't do it in order. You're definitely gonna wanna keep stuff in order just to make this as easy as possible. But next, we're gonna actually add in our ripped paper overlays. Sweet, and I'm just dragging these in. And we're just gonna hide all of these except our first layer real quick. We're gonna drag this first overlay down so that it is actually underneath our first clip. And we're just gonna right click this photo, hit create clipping mask, and then we're gonna set this blending mode to be something different. Now, if you wanna get a really crazy effect, you can definitely go nuts with the blending modes. There's like an infinite amount of possibilities. I think lighten or screen works. I kind of like lighten, but you know, there's a bunch of like way more intense ones too. But I'm gonna hit lighten. And just like that, we already have this nice little overlay. And to keep things simple, I'm actually going to duplicate this because we're gonna just borrow from these same ones. And I'm actually just going to hit shift, right click, and I'm gonna hit merge these layers, and now that is our original one. Now I'm just gonna go through and pick these different overlays and sort of add them to these different clips, doing that exact same process. Hey, and we're back, and you can see that if we just go through these, you can already get a feel for the effect that we're gonna be doing in this cut. But yeah, really quick, you're just gonna to wanna to save this out as a PSD, and then we can jump right back into Premiere. And then yeah, we're gonna drag our PSD back into our Premiere sequence. Now one really important thing is you're gonna to wanna to select individual layers and then you're gonna make sure you have select all on, then hit okay. And from there, we're gonna have this nice and clean little layout. And we can just go into here and just align these so that they are in line with each individual frame. Sweet, now let's render this really quick. Oh, and you're probably gonna to wanna to turn down your background layer. And just like that, we have this really cool effect. Now I think what would actually make this really cool is if we add some sort of image to the background. So I'm actually gonna drag this clip over and just sort of see what that looks like. And almost just use this as a transition. But yeah, really quick, I just tweaked it around a little bit and sort of played with the background clip. And yeah, that's super hard. I think that works really well. And yeah, you can definitely play around with this, but I hope you guys found this helpful. 